Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. Yay! The end! Woo! Good job! Bravo! Bravo! Yay! Duck Rabbit. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have shared a sweet video of them reading a book to baby Archie to celebrate his first birthday today. The mum is seen reading Duck Rabbit to the birthday boy. The book is one of Archie's favorite stories, with the one-year-old giggling and helping to turn the pages in the adorable clip. And Megan, who wore a casual denim shirt and shorts in a departure from the more royal wardrobe, being this she played with her little boy to celebrate his first birthday. In the video, the mum encourages Archie to read along, revealing her nickname for her son as she cooed, let's go to the next page, look Arch. At one point, the little boy appears to get upset, but is quickly cheered up by his mom as she reads the storybook. And in the cute home movie, Archie is then distracted as he grabs a second book with Megan laughing, let's finish this book first. Harry is heard chuckling at his son's antics from behind the camera. As Megan finishes up the book, she cuddles and kisses her son's head as Harry cheers and cries, the end, and bravo. Happy Archie then looks at his dad grinning as he chews on the corner of the book, babbling, da da. The young royal sports a full head of hair and several new teeth in the video, which is thought to have been recorded in California, where Meghan and Harry are now living. The video was shared on Instagram, I saved the children to help raise urgent funds for the charity's coronavirus appeal that has seen other celebs including Jennifer Garner and Amy Adams read stories. A popular book by Amy Crass Rosenthal and illustrated by Tom Lichten held, playfully asks whether an ambiguous image is a duck or a rabbit. A little boy, who is seventh in line to the throne, is expected to mark his first birthday with Zoom calls to his Aunt Kate and Uncle William. And in a message posted on Twitter this morning, the Cambridges wished Archie a very happy first birthday today. The sweet note was shared online along with a photograph of the family posing at his christening. Proud grandparents, Prince Charles and Camilla, also joined the birthday wishes sharing a photo of Prince Harry cradling Archie at his christening as his dad looks on. They wrote, A very happy birthday to Archie, who turns one today. This photo of Archie and his grandfather was taken following his christening in July 2019, and the royal family Twitter account also shared a message to the littlest royal. They wrote, Happy birthday to Archie Mountbatten, Windsor, who is celebrating his first birthday today. Archie is the Queen's eighth great grandchild. And Archie and his parents, Meghan and Harry, are also expected to call the Queen for the one year old's birthday. It will be a relatively quiet day for the family in California, having moved to Los Angeles just before America went into lockdown to stop the spread of coronavirus. The couple have made Los Angeles their home, and they and other residents of California have been living under a stay-at-home order made by the state's governor, Gavin Newsom. And royal right, Katie Nichols said Archie was likely to chat with his cousins George, Charlotte, and Louis online. Speaking to OK Magazine, she said, The Queen will wish him happy birthday this week via Zoom, as will the Cambridge children. They haven't seen their little cousin in months, so they've been looking forward to seeing how much he's grown. America is where Meghan and Harry plan to bring up their son, after walking away from the royal family, in order to become financially independent, after their hopes of earning money, while still supporting the Queen were ruled out. The young royal has experienced an eventful 12 months since he was born at London's Portland Hospital first living in a cottage in the grounds of Windsor Castle, then an exclusive home on Vancouver Island in Canada, and now 
in the sprawling metropolis known as the City of Angels. Wait, listen, did you hear that? I heard duck sounds. Quack, quack, quack. Quack, quack. Quack, quack, quack. Quack, quack, quack. That's funny, I distinctly heard rabbit sounds. Now the duck is waiting for the swamp. No, the rabbit is hiding in the grass. Here, ducky, ducky. Here, you cute little rabbit. Oh, great. You scared him away. Archie, wow. look, you didn't scare him away. Mm. You, I didn't scare him away. Wow. You scared him away. Let's finish. In other news, Meghan Markle just hired Princess Diana's lawyer. The lawsuit that Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, launched against the Associated Newspapers began on April 25th, and things are already getting dramatic. If you didn't know, Meghan and Prince Harry are suing the papers for portraying the Duchess in a negative light, especially as it pertains to them releasing a private letter that she wrote to her father. Following their exit from the British royal family, the Sussexes also announced they would no longer be associated with The Sun, The Daily Mail, The Mirror, and The Express under any circumstances except statements that come directly from their lawyer. There will be no corroboration and zero engagement, they said in a biting letter. Now, as the lawsuit that the Duchess has launched continues over remote hearings in the UK, the former actress has hired Princess Diana's former lawyer to represent her. Meghan Markle released private text message she sent her father. In an effort to tell their side of the story after the Duchess father Thomas Markle, accused them of not caring about his health and scolding him for talking to the press. The Sussexes have shared text messages that they sent him. It proves that the Mail on Sunday certainly may have edited a letter the Duchess sent her dad. It also proves that Markle hasn't been honest about his interactions with his daughter and son. In law, Meghan Markle feels she was treated horribly by the British press. A great deal of the Sussexes' frustration with the British royal family and the press is that their concerns about Meghan's harassment were not taken seriously. The Duchess allegedly told friends that things would have changed immediately if Catherine, Duchess of Cambridge, was on the receiving end of the same treatment. A friend told the Daily Mail. Meghan said no one would have put up with it, and the broken and outdated system would have been revised. Those outlets responsible for their vicious attacks would have been shut out. Meghan said it was infuriating that Harry's very real and valid concerns fell on deaf ears. Meghan said they made it seem like this, is the way it is, deal with it. Harry had been dealing with it far too long. She said he wasn't going to let this destroy her life and their marriage. Meghan Markle has just hired Princess Diana's lawyer. Now that her lawsuit against the Associated Newspapers is underway, the Duchess has hired Princess Diana's former lawyer, David Sherber. He has also represented the Spice Girls, Paul McCartney, Jude Law, Kate Winslet, Elton John, and Harry Styles. According to Sherburns's media and communications law firm 5RB, he is also acting for HRH, the Duchess of Sussex, in her misuse of private information, reach of data protection, and infringement of copyright action against associated newspapers. Hopefully, all of these legal issues will work out soon. So there you have it, that's all the news on Meghan and Prince Harry situation today. As always, thanks for listening. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and press that notification bell. If you want to be notified of future videos. Thank you. Don't stop.